Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide with myself Lee also known as Osiris and in today's episode we are going to be looking at how to best farm the max mushroom so without further ado let's get into it. And before we get into this content today, I would just quickly like to remind you all to please leave a like on the video if you do enjoy this sort of content. It not only allows me to know that this sort of content is what you want to see, but it also helps the video out massively. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this sort of content along with Pokemon news updates, competitive play and everything to do with Pokemon, do subscribe, join the family, and you're not going to regret it. We're going to have lots of fun going through the Isle of Armor, and we have a bunch of stuff to cover. Now, the Max Mushrooms are a brand new item that have dropped with the introduction of the Isle of Armor DLCs that we've had recently. Uh, one of the key aspects of these items is that you can collect them and then put them into a Max Soup. Give that to one of the potential G Max Pokemon that has not got the G Max ability and it will then obviously give them the the G Max badge Gigantamax badge and allow them to Gigantamax rather than Dynamax in battles now there is a little bit of a kicker with this it sounds great obviously it's amazing for us to be able to catch Pokemon breed Pokemon and then give them this Gigantamax ability but the Max Mushrooms are very difficult to find and they elude us in a lot of ways to be able to farm now I've spent actually a long time since the release of this game testing out theories ideas and things that I've read about online about how these mushrooms spawn now I think I've got a way to consistently do it now so this is what I'm going to share with you in this video so without further ado let's get into it we're going to start off by showing you how to give certain Pokemon the Gigantamax ability see here we're going to use it on our Rillaboom and obviously at the cost of three max mushrooms there we go we've got our Rillaboom now it has got grassy surge so it's a Gigantamax Max Rillaboom it has got that ability to now Gigantamax in battle now if I want to give the Gigantamax ability to my Cinderace and my Inteleon the other two hidden ability starters that we've recently been given in a online event I'm gonna need to find at least five more Max Mushrooms now just some additional information before we get into the Max Mushrooms to find out what Pokemon can be given the Gigantamax ability, you can talk to this NPC and he does direct you to a book on the cabinet in the kitchen which you can go and read. And as you can see right now, it does give you a full list of every single Pokemon that can Gigantamax in the game. And they are all the current Gigantamax Pokemon. And then on top of that, we've got Venusaur, Blastoise, Cinderace, Inteleon and Rillaboom. And then obviously Urshifu, which is a brand new Pokemon to the Isle of Armor. So on to the task at hand let's go and find the max mushrooms now if you've already played through the game you will know that mustard does take you to a few locations in the game where the max mushrooms spawn one of them is the forest area and another is the cave areas where you actually find a max mushroom now if we visit these areas now unfortunately there is no max mushroom so how do they spawn now we've tried the date skip glitch to stay if just changing the date 24 hours passing will spawn new mushrooms and I can categorically say this will not spawn new mushrooms so the other thing that I had read about was doing max raid battle so I went ahead and I did max raid battle came back checked the areas again and still no mushrooms so I proceeded to do a number of max raid battles and bearing in mind I'm recording this footage straight after I streamed where I'd probably done about three or four max raid battles in the stream itself since getting the last max mushroom, we proceed to do six more Gigantamax raids. We complete those and then lo and behold, another max mushroom appears. As you can see on your screen now, we are finding a new max mushroom. So then we search around the areas again where we know the max mushrooms spawn, the cave areas, the forest areas, and we still don't get any max mushrooms. So after completing this, the next natural step for me was to then do one max raid den, complete that, then search these areas to see if that spawned one of the max mushrooms. That didn't work. So then I went on to do two max raid dens, search the areas again, 
again and still came up empty handed. So then thinking a little bit deeper about it, does it have any correlation to the, the max raid dens? And once you clear all of the max raid dens, you do all of them that are active, the daily dens, then they will spawn a new set of dens. And I'm thinking, well, is that how the max mushrooms are spawned? So I come to the conclusion of maybe we just have to clear all of our dens in the Isle of Armor area. So we go ahead, do more max raid dens. I clear all of the dens and I even spawn some dens. And this amounts to 10 max raid dens that I actually complete in total before actually finding another max mushroom. Now, in between all of these max raid dens i have been checking these areas to see if i can maybe have a new max mushroom spawn and that's after even one two three right up to ten max raid battles and it wasn't until that tenth max raid den battle that i complete where another max mushroom spawned so it kind of indicates to me from my findings so far and this is all the information i have on this that you have to complete max raid battles and the number to spawn new mushrooms is around 10. Now whether that just spawns one mushroom or multiple mushrooms in the, the locations, I don't know as of yet, but I would say you are safe going out and doing 10 max raid battles and there should be new max mushrooms spawning. That is how I'm going to present it in this video and it might be sooner. It might mean that you have to do less max raid battles. It might mean that you need to do more max raid battles. But right now, the information I have, the testing that I've done, and I spent about five hours on testing this last night. My guess uncategorically would be do 10 max raid battles and these max mushrooms will spawn. Now, I don't know if this will work if you go to the wild area in the Gallo region um, or if you have to just solely stay in the Isle of Armour to do these battles. I haven't tested that yet. I will be doing more testing. So if there is information that I can find out about these Max Mushrooms, I will definitely do an update video. But right now, the games are really new. I feel like this information is going to be useful for you guys. So this is why I put this guide together. Now, the Max Mushroom spots, as you can see on your screen right now, they are in the forest area. They're normally around the spots that we're finding them here. So you can see there's one final one that we find just over the bridge as you enter from the southern end of the forest the other area in the forest is where you enter on the northern end so you would come directly into it as you head from the dojo there will be an area to the left where the mushrooms will spawn now the cave areas there is going to be the cave location um, where you find the one with mustard in the actual playthrough and then the other areas where you'll be able to find them are the cave areas where where we are detailing them now. So we actually manage, and this took me probably in total about two hours to do all these max raid dens and get the additional five max mushrooms that I need. So it's not the quickest method, whether it's easier or not to go out and just catch these Gigantamax Pokemon or use this method, I don't know. I, I think we'll probably find more information about the max mushrooms as time goes on. But right now, I feel like the max mushrooms probably speed up the process of getting a Gigantamax Pokemon rather than going den hunting. So... That is gonna wrap up about everything that I wanted to include in this guide, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful. As always, if you've got questions about this, please leave them down below. I will happily answer anything on information that I currently have on these Max Mushrooms. They are a brand new item and the spawn rate on them is really strange and doesn't kind of tally up or relate to anything else in the game it's not a daily spawn it is something that has a predetermined factor behind it and what i'm saying in this video is i can 100 like 99 percent say if you do 10 max raid battles you should get a max mushroom spawning in the isle of armor somewhere in these regions so i hope you have a lot of success hunting these max mushrooms they have been really difficult for me to get so far so do not take this lightly do not think that this is going to be an easy task but hopefully with the information i've provided you in this guide it is helpful as always if you have enjoyed the guide please drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you are new for more guides like this more news updates information on the isla armor pokemon sword and shield as they come out thank you so much for tuning in my friends take care of yourselves have a great day and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye